Well, here we are once again on St. Simon's Island. This is Friday, January 12th, about 2 in the morning. Again, got to be out here when nobody's going to bother you. This is uh, actually something I'm going to be showing you from Gould's Inlet. It is the uh, live erosion taking place as uh, really as the inlet comes back. Um, if anyone who lives in the area remembers many years ago, uh, this all used to be underwater. And why did I start at this uh, red sign here? Well, this sign is actually here, was here, to remind people, to remind boats that they were approaching a sandbar. However, for those of you not from here, <laughs> This is what Gould's Inlet has become. It is a sandbar. However, since uh, the month of, I want to say about June, when I really started walking this beach every night, um, I could see that erosion was taking place just a little bit at a time. And right now, since we're in between tides, you can get a really good look of it good look at it rather uh, just right here on a on a small scale and then I'll show you how much bigger it gets also if you ever come out here to the uh, to St. Simons Island which by the way I was broadcasting live from just a few nights ago as the Sun rose over the Atlantic this is the most beautiful spot to watch the sunrise um, on St. Simons Island but anyway right here you can see the erosion as it's happening right in front of your face. Now, those of you, again, from the area, if you haven't been here in a long time, if you come here at low tide, you're not gonna recognize this place. You're gonna think that you've landed on another beach, actually, because during low tide, right where I'm standing here, and it's kind of too foggy to give you any idea of where I am, but you just pull up Gould's Inlet on a map, Google Maps, whatever, and you'll uh, you'll find where I am. Anyway, when the tide is uh, low, you can actually step down into this about six feet and look up. And what I'm looking at right here is the top. Now the tide is, even though it's uh, only about an hour and a half a goal was dead low um, we're in the time of the month when low tides are higher and uh, usually high tides are lower so we're kind of in the middle of a, of a lunar cycle right now but as I get down here you can really see actually this piece just this piece just fell off right here and again if you stick around long enough you can see it you can see it happening right away but but there's a piece that just fell off right there and it just gets it just gets washed away it just gets washed away into the tide <laughs> what i really want to show you though is how much erosion <laughs> you have to forgive me <clears throat> i got a tickle in the throat sorry about that so what I, what I really want to show you guys that uh, take the time to watch this is what has happened here since June. Now, in the month of June, there was a, um, there was, a, and, and actually all the years prior to that, we only had just a little boardwalk to, um, to look over the inlet because where I'm standing right now, uh, just a few years ago, was uh, 30 feet of water. And there was this little tiny sandbar that you could sometimes get out to during uh, low tide. But that's not the case anymore. Right now, uh, this is in between tides and literally you can pretty much get out here anytime you want. So July 4th of 2016, 2015, July 4th of last year, I guess for the tourist weekend, they wanted to give people access to this beach so they put stairs in unfortunately the hurricane wiped those stairs not the stairs but the boardwalk away and now if you want to use that boardwalk to get onto Gould's Inlet Beach uh, unfortunately uh, you got to do a little rock climbing and you can't do it um, 
during certain periods of the day. But the massive amount of erosion that's happened is what I'm about to show you right here. The only thing that's holding this inlet back is this stream right here. This little sliver of sand that you can see is, is no more than about two, two and a half feet wide. And <clears throat> this backs up for nearly a mile in the uh, going down that way. And I've, I've, I think I've posted a video or two uh, maybe just one actually from right here uh, showing as the tide comes in it works its way around this corner right here and down the waves break the little tiny waves and they form these beautiful layers now all of this wasn't here and just uh, six months ago just six months ago this entire stream was only about this thick at high tide and the way that we knew that it was high tide was the water at really really high tide would come around this bend right here and the stream would have little tiny ripples in it it was basically a tide pool but now my goodness you can see the layers that have been eroded away and what nature's doing here is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's, it's amazing to look at because <clears throat> every night new layers get formed as the tide makes its way in. And you gotta be kind of careful here or you will fall in. So as these little tiny waves make their way in, there one comes now they slowly erode away. And then this gets bigger and bigger and bigger the further and closer we get to the Gould's Inlet Boardwalk. Sorry, I'm just about to fall over here. You can actually, every time I come out here, you always see some numbskull that got too close to the edge. One of these days, I'm gonna be uh, that particular numbskull. Not tonight, though. Uh, here's an example. Somebody got a little too close to the edge, and in they go. So right now, what's been eroded away is probably um, about four and a half feet where I'm standing now. So, unfortunately, I don't have a rule or anything, but this is absolutely beautiful. And most of the time, low or high tide, you can see all these layers. And you can see all the layers right here as they are um, as they're fully exposed only when it gets to be really close to high tide can you uh, not see these layers anymore and there's all kinds of really neat patterns uh, that are formed as the tide comes in but 24 7 now Every day of the week is a stream coming towards the ocean, making its way down, eroding just a little bit at a time. Now, sometimes when we have really high, exceptionally high tides because of uh, either a full moon or because of... Um, nor'easters, any, anything like that that'll bring uh, kind of a miniature surge our way, then there'll be significantly more erosion happening right here. But in the end, what's going to happen is, is Gould's Inlet is going to come back and it's, uh, it's going to be a lot larger than it was. So just less than six months ago, none of this sand was here. All of this sand was brought in um, before and during and after the month of June. But I'm just going to keep going down a little bit and showing you this. And what it's become. You can see right here is a big bunch of sand that's ready to give in. And I think that what's gonna happen is, is sooner or later in a few months time, it might take a little longer, but I do believe that um, we're gonna need that, that boardwalk again 
a lot more than we did before because Gould's Inlet is going to be coming back and it's going to probably put that sign back to use again. I'll show you guys this. For those of you who are not from the area, you'll appreciate this. Uh, this is the boardwalk that was destroyed by Hurricane Irma. The surge just ripped through here. There's a parking lot right there. That's actually where I was uh, broadcasting the sunrise from. And so the storm surge came ripping through here and no one really knows where the boardwalk is from here to there. But at high tide, the tide comes all the way up to here now and it makes like this little bowl shape, which is really cool. But that, again, that's only the peak, the very, very peak of high tide when that happens. So yeah, the, the hurricane, when it made landfall and high tide hit and the storm surge hit, it flattened everything out there, which you cannot see. You couldn't even see it. Um, you could only see it during the daytime if you're out there. Oh, it, where it is completely flattened it there was a ton of sand dunes out there and they're all gone now but they're working their way back i uh, did not know that sand dunes rebuild themselves so quickly but they are really coming back fast and it's amazing to watch this this is what i see every night is the changes that are happening out here and even though they aren't drastic but again they're happening and what's gonna what's going to um what this place is gonna look like six months from now is nothing like it looks now and next week it's gonna be different and you know the week after that it's gonna be different so it's always cool to come here and see um what happens now when the tide gets at its peak at high tide those steps right up there are all covered in water so that is Gould's Inlet. Okay, just jumped the little the little stream here. This is about as as big as it would get during high tide. But what happens here is it spins about six hours going towards the ocean, and then another six hours it's getting pushed back to form this massive tide pool. And if you walk down far enough, again about a mile then this just ends it turns into like a pond and so it will never be fully drained out and so that's 24 7 erosion happening there which is actually kind of cool uh so this is what's happened right here around the steps again this is built uh these steps right here were built the week of july 4th and you can actually tell the old wood from the brand new wood because um well you got to be blind not to be able to see it. So in any event, this is all closed, supposed to be closed off now. But there are folks who will be brave enough to uh, hop onto those rocks and uh, <laughs> try not to slip and bust a new crack in their tails to get access to this beach. Little do they know, all they got to do is just jump the creek in the right spot. So that again, folks, even though it's dead of night, middle of the morning and super foggy out here <laughs> that is Gould's Inlet next time I'm out here and it is low tide I'll make a video so we can compare the difference of um, where the tide is now compared to how low it actually gets so that'll probably be coming within the next week or week and a half I'm just gonna loop right back around to where I started well not really where I started the sign is way down there again the sign warning ships that they were about to come close to a sandbar amazingly somehow that sign is the only thing that survived the hurricane here on the beach that is the only thing that remained undamaged was that sign so here we are once again as usual out in nature breathing in the good prana and watching as the tide comes in and little by little Gold's Inlet makes its comeback everyone watching this I want you to take care of yourselves be good to each other and have a great day. 
from St. Simons Island, Georgia. This is Blake saying good night, good day, good to you.